Right, I got myself a uh, disposable camera here. It cost uh, £1.98. Uh, I don't know uh, if I feel like I've made that much of a saving off £2 by it being £1.98 instead of uh, £2 perhaps or £1.99. But uh, I suppose uh, that extra tuppence can go elsewhere. No way. So what I'm interested in is because it's got a flash in it. If we hold this button down, you can start to see that red light is charging up. So the flash will work. Now, uh, what I want to do is uh, I've got uh, four rechargeable batteries here, and I found an interesting way into uh, hooking them into two magnets to make sure that they're all in parallel so instead of having uh, 1.5 volts I've got uh, you know, 1.5 volts at and I think they're 700 milliamps hours each so that makes 2.8 amps at 1.5 volts I'll just show you how to do that now. Literally, stick them onto the one side of it. Grab the top side of it, and so now we've got them uh, all in parallel. And I thought it was quite a nice, neat way. So we can just uh, get our leads and click them on and they're going to magnetise to that so that's, that's great now, uh, I'm just going to open this up now the plastic case enough now there are a clip that side and a clip this side I don't know if I could do this one handed but let's have a go get your finger in the clip the one side and pull and then get your finger into that clip on the side and pull up you can then expose all of the film and get rid of that because we don't really need it. We've got digital cameras now. Uh, now something else I found was after we've taken the back off, uh, it's still stuck together. So we have to go on another little clip there, and another little clip there. So if we can do that now, there's one there. And another clip here. And then finally just pop that over the top of the little button. And it should just come straight over. And then you've got the electronics inside, which is what we're after. There are two screws. Now, uh, these two screws need undoing, and then uh, we can get the, uh, the actual circuit out of which we want to use. So I'll unscrew them now. Well, that's been disassembled. We only have the board, which is excellent. So. There's the battery we're going to be using with it. And all of that is trash. Just to show you how this does that work, is uh, you've got two contactors here that when they touch together, the flash goes off. But you have to charge the flash using this button. And then when the red light comes on, when you do touch these two together, the, uh, the flash goes off. So uh, I'm going to have a go at that now. I'm just going to charge it up and show it you working. Well, I've held my finger on that for uh, 
I don't know, about five or ten seconds. And we touch these two together now. We get a flash, as you'd expect. Now, uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, for one, I want the uh, circuit to charge by itself, so I'm going to flick that little switch off there and just solder the lugs together so it continuously is just charging up. I'll do that now. I've got a massive lug of solder on there now. You can see the uh, red lights on. As you can see that. Big bulbous bit of solder. So that's working fine. And now I want to uh, wear a trigger in it. So it'll uh, trigger by itself. And uh, I'm thinking a neon may do that. So uh, hopefully when that gets up to the correct voltage, it'll go And then uh, the neon will switch on and use the neon as a switch. So I'm just gonna uh, grab a neon and solder that onto it now. Well, I've soldered that uh, neon on now and it's uh, <laughs> not acting as I expected to. It's, uh, it's just actually switching the neon on. If I uh, touch the two contactors together, short the neon out. So that's not gonna work with it. I'm going to have to find another way to get it to do that. Now the uh, the reason I'm doing this project is because uh, I want some uh, circuitry to uh, charge up these big capacitors I got to uh, make maybe make a uh, pulse coil rifle or something similar. So I'm going to uh, hook these up to here to see if it will uh, charge it. So I'll do that now. I've hooked up uh, the one lead to the minus to the large capacitor and the other lead to the plus uh, via a diode and at the moment we've got how many is that? It's about 11 volts across uh, both capacitors. Now uh, I'm going to be extremely careful with this now because uh, I'm assuming this has uh, quite a lot of coulons that it can uh, hold. So if I was to place this, I can hear it's taking an awful much longer. Right, we just got up to uh, 300 volts now, and uh, so I, I think it might be a bit of a bad idea just to blow that for no reason. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, battery out. And put it on the floor. So we've got uh, 301 volts on that. Now I know I'm going to jump like hell when this happens, but uh, I don't know if you've all seen a large capacitor discharge before, but uh, if you were to watch this, makes quite a loud bang, doesn't it? And uh, we've still got a little bit of voltage on it. So, uh, that's great then. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to house this into a nice little box, and then uh, I'll be able to have some leads that come through and round uh, to be charging these up. 